I am a high school student, and my favorite subject is math. Kind of an oxymoron, isn't it? Student like math. It's like oil and water. According to recent online polls, math is a subject students dislike the most. It's also the subject students struggle with the most. So why do young people hate math? Is this something we can change? Our society has an extremely accessible education system, but the way in which math is taught is quite inaccessible. The current math curriculum puts a big emphasis on memorization and exercises. There's a big emphasis on doing and less on understanding. Students find no joy in math, and who can blame them? The complex jargon can feel like another language at times, and the numerous exercises eventually get tiresome. But if math really is all that. Why do I like it? It's because I find unparalleled joy in solving math equations. Or maybe I just crave the excitement of using the quadratic formula. <laughs> no. The reason why I like math is because I see it in a different light. Contrary to popular belief, math isn't just about algebra. There are many branches of mathematics, and it appears everywhere in our daily lives understanding the why in math. Being creative with it and noticing its intricacies can actually lead to enjoyment. Much like reading a good story, a good math problem is an adventure with protagonists, rising action, climax, the whole works. Of course, the idea that math can be married with enjoyment is a little hard to sell, so I'll prove that math can be cool with an example. Let's suppose Little Red wants to leave her house, go to the stream, then visit Grandma's house. She wants to make her journey as short as possible to avoid being mauled by the big, bad wolf. What is the shortest distance she needs to walk? As you can imagine, there are many ways Little Red can walk. The green, orange, and purple lines are just three examples. But we are looking for the shortest path. Now, it seems very simple. I mean, the orange path looks like it's the shortest of the three, but is there a shorter path? And if there is one, how long is it? Now, this, in fact, is a standard optimization problem in a calculus class. And in a calculus class, calculus students might solve the problem like this. Not very fun. For starters, you have to differentiate the sum of two radicals Let's try being creative. Let's be problem solvers. The problem would be so much easier if we can measure the path of Little Red's walk somehow, so no. Why don't we reflect it? Let's suppose the wolf lives on the other side of the river, across from Grandma. The wolf and Grandma live the same distance away from the river. Now, what if when Little Red goes to the stream, she visits the wolf instead of Grandma? Little Red might be a bit more red after this adventure, but anyhow. So Little Red is visiting the wolf. Because the wolf is a mirror image of Grandma, the distance she needs to walk is the same. Now it's easy. The quickest way for Little Red to walk straight into the jaws of the big bad wolf is to just walk a straight line. Notice how, because this is not a straight line, Little Red has to walk some extra distance. So if she walks a straight line, it'll be the quickest way for her to get to the wolf's house one straight line. To calculate the distance of the straight line, we use the formula a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Plug in the numbers, three squared plus four squared, and that makes five squared. So quick and simple, the shortest distance Little Red needs to walk to get to the wolf or grandma's house is just five meters. Isn't that just a little bit cool? We explored, we are creative we used a sneaky reflection to help us solve the problem. If we didn't do the reflection, we would have had to use algebra and calculus. Now, algebra is important, calculus is important. Students in a calculus class better be able to do this. However, what I'm suggesting is that math isn't just about this, it's also about this. Let's take time in schools to truly appreciate math. 
give our students the opportunity to explore math, to think creatively, and to use their imaginations. Math really is much, much, much more than just numbers and letters. It can be an imaginative journey that ultimately doesn't have to be painful. Math isn't just about finding X. It is about understanding why. 